Hey everybody, welcome to the next tutorial lesson. In this one, we're going to be going over the AI Dream add-on, right? So let's hit Shift A and drop in a plane. And just kind of bring that over here. I'm going to do a little vertical split. Sound like a gymnast there. And I'm going to pull up the image editor, all right? And then we'll go over how to get to this point in just a minute. So we'll just click new and hit OK. And now we've got this image texture here. And the add on, which is in the end panel, thank goodness, uh, is pretty easy to use. You've got to download a bunch of stuff and put it in the right spots. It's the real pain to figure out uh, for the first time, but after that, it's pretty easy. So we'll just pick a subject like pebbles right and we'll click seamless because we would like to have a seamless image and it seems to be a little bit of a memory hog so i'm going to leave it at 512 and then later i'm going to experiment with all the settings and find out the absolute best way to get that at a higher resolution because i really think there's a lot of potential for this add-on and it's completely free so with all of that let's go ahead and just click generate and what this thing is going to do is load a few things it may take a long time the first time maybe even a couple of minutes um, the download for the like the backfill model here i got the full one 7.2 gigabytes so it's a little heavy uh, the add-on is 4 gigabytes. And then after a little while, it'll start doing the steps, right? It's set to default at 25. So you can set it probably a little bit higher. Alright, so that's pretty cool, right? <laughs> it just generated a texture just like that. Um, so what we'll do is we'll kind of we'll, we'll press it a little bit. All right, so I click generate again, and I kind of feel like, man, seven gigabytes. These might just be preset textures. Kind of, you know, a little sketchy. I, I don't trust anything anymore, right? So I'm just going to type in blue brick, right? That seems stupid. Like, who has blue bricks, maybe? Uh, I'm going to click generate, and we'll see what it does. It's got 25 steps. And I kind of feel like that's going to be like the, like a resolution. <laughs> there you go. There's blue bricks. Let's just type in something like glass. Why not? We make a lot of glass in Blender. And I, I mean, I have not uh, gone through too many variations yet, but I just like on the fly. So it's exciting for everybody, right? And there's some kind of glass. I didn't say what kind of glass. It looks like a stained glass, but it made a glass texture. So why not put in stained glass, right? And this would be the last one I do before I just show you, go ahead and show you how to download it. But just to show you how cool this thing is. Oh, did I not click generate? Let's click generate, shall we? And it seems to go faster each time once it kind of like learns and or everything's loaded hey that looks really good that looks really good so i'm just going to switch this to 10 24 and it's not probably going to be the same thing twice ever right so if you wanted that stained glass you probably should you know whatever whatever came up for you um or should i say whatever comes up for you you might want to just save that image for later usage and it's obviously taking a lot longer now because I switched it to 1024. All right, figure I'll just unpause it uh, at the last minute here. And is it voila? Not enough memory <laughs> to use lower resolution. Yeah, see, I can't burn it into that. So it looks like it's just uh, 512 for me for now. I know that there's some other. PC is better than my NVIDIA 3060 i9 core, which is ridiculous. I've got like a terabyte of RAM. It should just be doing that at 1K, whatever. 
but drop it down to 512. Let's try it again. And this guy's upgrading this thing a lot. He just upgraded the render for it. Yeah, see, that looks really good, man. So it's going to be different every time. Uh, so there's a lot of cool things you can do with this image once you're done with it, once you've generated it. And so what we can do is we can take this and just call it stained glass, uh, stained one, whatever works. And I don't see the little asterisk thing over here, so I'm hoping I don't lose it. So I'm going to go over to the shader. And what we can do is press the end panel, get rid of that, click new. And I'll pull off the base color. It's one of those things you can do. Uh, just pull the base off with the left mouse. Type in image. You know the drill. And you can click open. Excuse me, don't click open. Just choose the drop down here and you'll pull up stained. And voila, now you've got that over here. And now, of course, when it's in that setup, you can do more things to it in the shader. But just for now, I'll take this and go into edit with the face select. I'm going to go to options and correct face attributes and keep connected. And then I'll just come over to like edge select. And now I can just move this out on the X axis. And then G and Y to kind of bring it down like that. And you keep the overall shape of the mesh and you don't stretch it out. Now, how do you get this thing downloaded? Well, lucky you. I'm going to put links in the description so you won't have to go fighting it. But I'll walk you through it real quick. All right, you get a little sneak peek at all my stuff here. All the little different add-ons I've got. Got a few. Dream Textures. Get it free. He just states that, right? So Carson Katri or Katri. I'm going to say Carson Katri because it sounds really cool. Uh, just come over to the Blender Market and... You can just literally type in dream. Probably better to type in dream textures, but here it is. So it's zero to $20. I'm actually going to go back in and put some money in for this guy. I mean, like five or 10 bucks. What is that going to hurt? You can't even get a cheeseburger with a large fry, like a basic cheeseburger with a large fry anymore for $10. At least not in the United States. I don't know who else is watching this, man. But it's getting so expensive for food. So get over here, download this. Now, it's super important. Once you've downloaded this, you've got to download something else. And it's a big, big file. So don't come over. Do not, do not, do not come over and download dreamtextures.zip. It's missing a bunch of stuff. It's only 694 megabytes. This is AI, guys. This is not going to um, work the way you think with something that small. And no, you don't want to see my Patreon page. Uh, let's see. This is the page where you want to be. And I will have a link in the description down below. And when you go to click this link, hit the subscribe and hit the like button. Please helps the channel out. You can sub uh, consider supporting the channel via Patreon, $1 a month. Also... And that's going to get you access to live streams when I do get to go live. Because I'm getting really close, guys. I'm halfway there to be able to go live. And we're going to do some fun stuff. So here's the download for the weights. Uh, this is a smaller file. This one's like 4 or 5 uh, gigabytes. And this one for the full EMA, that one is 7 gigabytes. I recommend you do that if you can. Also, there's some, a lot of stuff to read everything. Read it up. Uh, the weights are intended to be used with the original stable diffusion code base which is what you get off the blender market but if you're looking for the model used with the diffuser library you can get that over here and of course all those links are going to be up but if you get the one from blender market you really need to click on one of these two right here i would suggest going with the full now we're going to do something like a little bit different i just want to do this real quick so i'm going to shift a and i'm going to drop in a uv sphere and i'll shade it smooth now I want to pull the screen back over, go back to the image editor, and delete that, click new. And even though I did this at uh, 1024, it still wouldn't let me. No big deal. So I'll pull the dreamer back out. And in this one, I would really like to get a baseball texture. And... 
seamless yeah why not so I'll generate that and like like I've got a little bit more work to do on this but you can increase the steps here under the advanced tab and if you understand what you're looking at there's gonna be a little bit more study in for this then you'll be able to make some other modifications and I'll just go ahead and click generate and it gave me some kind of a texture I'm not sure that's a baseball but this AI, you know, so we're just going to have fun with this. Just one more time, I'm going to click it and see if I can get something a little bit different. No, not quite yet. Um, they're working on these things, I am sure of it. But that texture is outstanding, actually. And it's really abstract. So, I mean, you can get in here and, I guess, just call it dreaming. Just start dreaming. And so, this is the stable excuse me stable diffusion this is stable diffusion AI for blender and it's really just that simple and then when you get in here uh, the last part of this is in order to get this model to show up you have to come over to edit and preferences and just understand this is like lagging even on my computer which is pretty fast it's about it's pretty fast so you're gonna have to come over and go into the add-on the dream textures and I tried the other add-on for this I tried a few different things there was like another another one out there and it was horrible I, it just kept coming up with pink screen and everything else. it was just terrible so here's where you would import your weight models okay so you would click this and what that's going to do is take you to your downloads and that full ema.ckpt import that give it plenty of time even if you got a fast pc don't go clicking around and crash and blender make sure that your edit preferences is already on auto save and you can just hit the x i'm Definitely coming back with a bigger tutorial on this, but hey guys, I still got that 9 to 5 until all of my subscribers decide that they love me so much they want to do Patreon. And that $1 a month keeps me at home doing tutorials, and then it's going to be game on. And um, hey, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And just for the fun of it, we can generate one more thing. I was going to wrap it on this, but that's kind of senseless because it's really not what I want. There we go. Generate a brick wall as well. <laughs> as that, it seems to be like one of those big things. And then you can come back over and do all the fun stuff with it in the shader editor. Hey, hit me up in the, in the comments below, guys. I appreciate you watching. Thanks.